Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the free Veracrypt encryption tool to encrypt a container or folder on your computer as well as encrypt an entire drive. Alright, so it's free to use, you just have to be careful when using it so you don't actually you know, encrypt your files and then make it so you can't get them back so there's some certain steps you need to follow when using it. Alright, so we have this C drive which we're not going to touch even though you can encrypt it. We're going to also encrypt this whole E drive and then we'll also make a container on this E drive to put some encrypted files in. Alright, so once you download and install Veracrypt, just run it. Alright, so you have your main screen here. So the first thing you want to do, no matter which method you're using, is click on Create Volume. Alright, so the first one we're going to do is create an encrypted file container. So it's kind of like a way to put files in a vault, I guess you could say. And after that, we'll actually encrypt the entire drive. And then you can see you have the option to encrypt the system partition. Alright, so click on Next. So we're going to do the standard Veracrypt volume. You could also do the hidden Veracrypt volume. So this is a little more secure if you think someone's going to force you to uh, reveal the password for some reason. So that's up to you, but we're just going to do the standard one. You can actually click this link to find out more information about that. Alright, so we're going to choose a file. So this is really making a file, not selecting a file. So we're going to put it on this E drive here. We'll call this secure location. Save. So now we have our file, our new file, on the E drive. So we're going to click on next. Then you could change the encryption algorithm if you want to pick something besides the default. But we're just going to stick with the default algorithm for encryption and for the hash algorithm. And then once again, you can find more information on those if you want to try something different. All right, so now we need to decide how big to make this thing. So let's just make it 500 megabytes. So it tells you how much free space is available on that drive to make your encrypted container. So this is just for testing. You probably want to do more than 500, depending on what you're going to use it for. So click on Next. Now we need to come up with a secure password. This is not a very secure password, but it's good enough for now. And then you could use key files, which actually takes a different file, which you have to have alongside your password, because it takes information out of that file to decrypt it. So it's an extra layer of security. And then this use PIM, it's kind of like entering an extra code uh, when you encrypt your drive as well. So both these methods are for extra security. If you want to check those out, but we're just going to keep it simple for now. And you might not need to use those depending on you know, how worried you are about somebody getting into your encrypted data. Alright, so click on Next. So now it's telling me my password is too short and easy to crack and recommends using a password of 20 or more characters. But I'm just going to use what I typed in there for the sake of typing. So I'll click on Yes. So now you can see, well, during this part here, it wants you to move the mouse around to help the encryption process here the strength you can read it right there so just kind of move it around within the window until it turns green obviously the more the better you want to go all the way to the end here and you can choose your file system as well let's do it ntfs all right so we'll click on format and here's option for full format quick format or fast create we'll just do the full format to make sure it's good to go Since there's only 500 megabytes, it's not going to take that long. Okay, it's been created. And if you click on Next, it starts to go through the process again, so you need to click on Exit. I don't know why they do that, but it's kind of confusing. Okay, so now we have our container right here, Secure Location. You can't do anything with it. You try and open it. Windows doesn't know what to do. So what we need to do now is select that container file. So that's on our E drive. And then pick a letter. We'll pick V for Veracrypt. And then we just have to mount it and put in that same password you used to create it. So this is not a new password, this is the same one. Click OK. So depending on what you're doing, it might seem responsive, but this is a quick one, so it doesn't. Alright, so now 
we go back to this PC, well, first of all, you can see we still have that container file that you can't do anything with. But if you go to this PC, now we have our V drive showing with 500 megabytes. Now we could put data in it if we want. Let's say this confidential files. Just paste it right in there. You can make new files and so on. And now it's encrypted. So when you're doing this type of container, um, if you have another user on the computer, I'll show you what happens here. So let's switch over to a different account. So you can see this other user has this mounted drive. And they could actually get into it. So they could see these files because it doesn't change user access. It's just encrypting the files. So if you didn't want them to see it, you can unmount the drive uh, from your computer. And then they won't be able to see it when they log in. So it's kind of a pain maybe if you're always switching back and forth between users that you have to unmount your drive. Uh, but if you want to keep them out, then that's what you'll have to do. All right, so let's go back to the main user here. Okay, so now that we're here, let's go back to this E drive here. And say we try and delete our container file here. You can't do it because it's still mounted, so you can't delete your container unless you unmount the drive first. All right, so now let's unmount it or dismount it. So you might run into this if you have something open, so we're going to force the unmount. All right, so now if we go back to this PC here. Our V drive is dismounted. And now, if we delete this container file, it's going to delete the files within it. And then if you try and go mount it again, it's going to be gone. So if we do that, now everything that was in it is gone as well. And now we don't have the option to select this file because it's been deleted. So if we try and mount it, it says it can't find it. So just keep that in mind. If you delete that container, you're going to be deleting your data as well. All right, so now let's actually mount a disk here. We're going to mount this entire E drive right here. So we'll click on Create Volume again. This time we'll encrypt a non-system partition or drive. We have the same option for standard or hidden. Select a device here, so make sure you pick the right one. So here is our E drive here with 100 gigs. Here's our flash drive and here's our C drive. All right, so if you do this, create encrypted volume and format it, then you're going to be formatting your drive here. See, it says any data stored on the selected partition device will be lost. So we want to do encrypt partition in place. And you should be doing backups before you start messing around with encryption, uh, just in case something does go wrong. All right, so this is just a warning. If the power goes off, then you might be in trouble with your files getting corrupted or lost. So let's say yes. Then you can change the algorithms again if you want to do that. Okay, we'll put in the same password again. Then you have the same option for the key files and PIM. Okay, same message about the password not being good enough. All right, we'll do this again real quick. Let's do it till it gets green this time. There we go, good enough. All right, so now wipe mode, so we don't want to wipe it, so we're going to put it on none, but you can wipe it if you want to do that at the same time. But once again, if you have data you want to keep, you don't want to wipe it. So obviously you could encrypt an empty drive as well if you want to do that, and then you could wipe it first if you want some extra security. So we'll just click on Next, I'll leave it on None. 
All right, so now we're going to click on encrypt. So you will not be able to mount the volume or access any files until it's fully encrypted. So we'll say yes. Okay, so when you're doing a drive, this process takes a while. You can see it's estimating 12 minutes left. So we'll pause the video and then be back when it's done, and then we'll try it out. All right, so our drive has now been encrypted, and you get this message here. So what it tells you to do, now that it's encrypted, you want to click on Auto Mount Devices in the main window to actually mount this drive. And then it gives you another warning saying, this volume cannot be mounted using the drive letter E, which is currently assigned to it. And you'll see that in a second here. So I'll click on OK, Finish. Now we're going to click on Auto Mount Devices. Put in the password for our drive here. Alright, so this might take a minute as well, and it says Faircrypt may seem unresponsive, like it's freezing up, but it's just kind of being a little resource intensive here, so it kind of uh, does that. So in doing this, I would say don't use your computer just to make sure it doesn't actually freeze up. Alright, so that's done. So let's see what it looks like. Alright, so here is our original E drive. You can see we can't access it. And then here is our V drive, which is technically this drive, but encrypted. And there are the files that were on the E drive. All right, so let's go back to the other user and see what it looks like. Let's refresh here. So you can see they have the same thing here, where they can't access the original E drive, but they could access this drive here. All right, back to the other account. All right, so now let's go back here. Okay, so now we could unmount it if we want to just keep it unmounted and then reconnect it later. Or if we want to decrypt it, we go to volume, permanently decrypt. So some people say you should make a copy of your file somewhere else before decrypting just in case something happens during the process. So that's entirely up to you. But I'm just going to permanently decrypt it since it's just a test computer. And you can see it has a leftover entry for that secure container that I deleted. So I'm just going to click this one here. So I'm going to say yes to permanently decrypt the following volume. Now it's saying unencrypted data will be written to the disk, which is fine. Say yes. Put in the password. All right, so this might take a few minutes too. So you have the same screen you saw when we encrypted it. So we're going to click on decrypt. Same warning about making sure the power stays on. You will not be able to use it until it's fully decrypted. All right, so once again, I'll pause the video and then be back when this is done. All right, so our volume has been successfully decrypted. Click on Finish. You can see we have our data drive, or eDrive, with our files on it. And that other drive is now gone. All right, so that is how you create an encrypted container or folder, and also how you encrypt an entire drive or partition. So two similar but different processes. So one thing I will say, is if you plan on getting rid of Veracrypt, make sure you decrypt your information first, otherwise you will have a problem trying to get it back. All right, then I will put a link in the description where you can download Veracrypt, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.